It's a quick update of what's happening on the Hudson River in terms of ice boating. I spent the afternoon, February 26, 2014, on the river. And I have Google Earth up here right now. And just to give you an idea of the massive saleable piece of ice that we're talking about, I drew a polygon here. And as you can see, it extends all the way from Rhinecliff train station north past Kruger's Island. You can get around Kruger's Island and go to the south end of Magdalen Island. So we're talking about a huge amount of saleable area here. Currently we have boats on South Bay which they're thinking of carrying them over to take advantage of this massive piece of ice. And then we have quite a number of boats that are at Astor Point just south of Berrytown. The best access is from Berrytown at this point. Drive down to the end there. There's a little old train station, old, old post office. And then you can walk along the tracks. When you get past Edgewater, you can carefully cross the tracks and get down onto the ice and then proceed to where the ice boats are parked at Astor Point, which is in the, the same general area where these boats are moored in this particular picture. I did have my GPS on today, and as you can see, logged about 35 miles. First I went north to the tip of the uh, south end of Magdalen Island, then turned around and did a massive run it was a west wind, so I was able to very quickly get down back to Astor Point, past Astor Point underneath the Rhinecliff Bridge, all the way down to the train station at Rhinecliff. Coming back was a little more zigzaggy, some tacking, but was able to do that in a couple of hours. The ice surface is very good in spots. Other spots have a little bit of snow, which slows you down, but as long as there's a good wind and you have a good boat, you can definitely power through it. And I was able to do 35 miles today, so that shows you that it is a very quality, the sheet is of high quality and very locked in at the moment. The only problem I had was down here near Rhinecliff. There's a tower buoy here. Um, and just past that tower buoy there is one crack that's about four feet wide that is the only um, obstacle or only thing that you would want to avoid in the 35 miles I sailed today everything else was solid and locked in hope that was helpful